Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see how my amazing Kiss cold process soap comes out and how well it lathers at the end, then stay tuned for this cutting video. So I made two loaves of soap yesterday. I more or less doubled my batter. And um, so I'm just gonna show you a quick little cutting video. So I figure if I do this, if I want to put the big loaf, which makes 11 bars, if I want to wrap them and put them up on my Etsy page and then the smaller loaf, cut it up and keep it, you know, for me, my mom, my husband. So I was just going to do layers, pink, blue, and a brown but then I ended up just trying to swirl it a little bit. So I seriously doubt that it's going to look good inside. But I had no um, vanilla color stabilizer. And so the brown soap, the brown part, I used a fragrance called Dark Kiss, which has vanilla in it. And then I just added some brown cult, brown um, oxide to it because I knew it was going to turn brown anyhow. It had like 9% 9, 9 vanilla content in it. And then the blue and the pink, I had a little bit left of a, a, a fragrance called Amazing Style from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it smells like Amazing Grace from Philosophy, which me and my mother, we wear that every day. That's our perfume we, we, usually, uh, we usually wear. So I figured I would do that. Mm, and together it smells delicious, let me tell you. But that had no vanilla in it, so, I, so the pink and the blue will not turn brown. So that's, what, that's how I did this. I am going to order my vanilla color stabilizer, and I'm going to order titanium dioxide to get a more white color. But for, for right now, I don't have those, um, those supplies. So that's why I did what I did. So I'm just going to cut the small loaf, our personal loaf first. And just see what it looks like inside. I'm not hoping for anything too crazy. Let me see. And with this small loaf, you really... Let me see. Yeah. All right. That's what that one looks like inside. Still a little wet because you could see the track marks from the wire a little bit. But those could be buffed out if I did want to put these up for sale. off a little bit. Yeah, this boss smells really good. Mmm. Dark Kiss and Amazing Style. Usually I would combine the two and mix them together, but like I said, because I didn't want the vanilla content in my blue and my pink, I decided to separate my batter first, do the colors, and then add the fragrance accordingly. Let me see here. All right. 
right, let's hope for the best with this one. Hmm, looks like the other one to me. Yeah, so it's just brown, pink, blue. Nothing spectacular, but it does smell very good. I can even give these bars out for presents for Christmas. Or I'll give them to my mom. She needs about 13, 14 bars for the church to give to some of the ladies at church for Christmas. So I wrapped them up really Christmassy. And yeah. It does smell delicious though, you guys. So that's my cutting. I don't know what I'm going to call this soap. Since it has dark kiss and amazing style, maybe I'll just call it amazing kiss. <laughs> to incorporate both of those fragrances. It's so satisfying to cut soap. I, I, like... I couldn't wait to get up this morning to cut this. Yeah, so that's my soap for today, guys. All right, I'll see you all in my next video, which is tomorrow. My Weight Watchers weigh in. So if you're interested in following me on my Weight Watchers journey, so far I'm down 8.6 pounds in two weeks hopefully I've been doing really good this week so let's see if it pans out because every time I say that I gain and every time I say oh I didn't do good I lose so I don't know we'll see what happens tomorrow morning but yeah if you're new to my channel please hit that subscription button please hit that notification bell if you like homemade soaps and if you like watching cutting videos to see what's inside <laughs> how it came out then give this uh, video a thumbs up and I'll see you all tomorrow in my uh, weekly weigh-in for Weight Watchers. All right, guys. Take care. See you. All right. So I wanted to see how this new bar lathered. And yes, you're not supposed to use it until it cures. But actually, after 24 hours, all, all of the oils are saponified. Now it's just a matter of getting all that excess water out to make the bar hard. So, yes, you can actually use it now because everything's all saponified, but it's a very soft bar and it'll just mush in the water. But let's test it to see how the bubbles are because I actually did add uh, three, more, three different oils to this recipe than I did to the other recipe for the other soaps I made. So this particular recipe has canola oil, sunflower oil, and what else did I add? Uh, canola oil, soybean oil, soybean, canola, and sunflower. So I'm just gonna wet my hands. And you can see I have a very the little tiny piece from the end. And let's see how long it takes to make some bubbles. Oh, it bubbles right away. Look at that. It feels very, very soft and luxurious. Let me just move this a little. There we go. Oh yeah, look at those bubbles. And they feel like silk. Now if I was to put a little bit more water. I gotta clean the mold there. Yeah, look at that. Imagine, Sparky, knock it off. Imagine how nice this is gonna lather on your scrunchie in the shower. Just a couple of turns of it. And look, I got all this lather from this little tiny piece just going back and forth a few times. Absolutely luxurious. Oh my God. Yep. 
This recipe is a keepa keepa too. Perfect. Absolutely love it. All right, just wanted to see how it lathered. And now to let them cure for about four weeks. And then they'll be ready to go. Beautiful.